Okay, uh, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Patrick Kim Curry. So today our group member is going to present and introduce our new sub-brand called Y5B. And uh, before we talk about uh, our new sub-brand, I will show you about uh, these photos. I believe that uh, everyone are very familiar with yellow tail. And um, if I tell you that uh, we are gonna to introduce our new sub-brand, which is from yellow tail, and uh, it's a called Ken Y, which is similar to um, um, beer. So, what do you think about it? And um, for the new brand, we call it uh, Y by the B, uh, because uh, by the B actually is kind of the kangaroo, and Y represent yellow. And um, we want to target the Ken Y as so trendy, and which is more modern style. So, you can see from the label, which is more colorful. So how we position our uh, wide value? We want to target uh, to more younger consumer. So as you can see from the label, uh, it's very colorful and modern style. According like, to the packaging, uh, the design and the labels actually can um, appeal to the trendy um, audience. And we want to offer a very affordable enjoyment <coughs> to the consumer. And we will use the con uh, conceptual map to introduce, uh, to position the Y by the B. Uh, according to the graph on the screen, you can see uh, we target Y by the B as same as the price. The price is as same as uh, uh, Y uh, yellow tail because for the perception of the consumer, well, uh, yellow tail provided uh, value for money and also uh, easy drinking the image to the consumer. But we position uh, viability as a more high packaging appeal. So it means that we represent the appeals of the package design. So according to the package, which is different from the transition design of yellow tail, as you can see from the label, it is more modern style to target our target audience. So uh, for the price range, we target, uh, we recommend the price is at like four to six dollars per can. So it can um, assign with the market standard for yellow tails and for the money perceptions is like for the mass market, which they are always look for value for money uh, and also easy drinking. For the convenience, the cans they offer very convenient service size. So as you can see, it is quite similar to a beer and it is perfect for uh, some younger consumer for outdoor activities. They can just drink it immediately. And also, um, you can also eliminate in something this for some openness and for easier to transport. For example, if we target to, to some different market, we can easier to transport the canvas to the uh, to our customers. And okay, and also according to a uh, uh, source called the Good Food, uh, you can see from the screen this is uh, one of the best selling uh, can wines in the market and their target price actually is around 8 to 12 and we did some research about the can wine which the price which the price is quite similar starting from 4 to 12 euro and we target uh, wine quality as 4 to 6 which is uh, quite lower to other top can wine producers so the reason for our pricing strategy is we want to make our products more acceptable to wide range of the customers so we want also we want to ensure that a, a consumer can uh, is, uh, to enjoy the benefits of a uh, white value as same as yellow tail when when they uh, look for the price uh, compared to other can white. So you can see from the perceptual map the the uh, the white value which is uh, positioned at more lower price than other uh, uh, can white. And also for the quality, actually for can white is it it target as like more easy drinking, uh, you, you should drink it immediately, fruity style. So actually the quality for can wine are more uh, like quite similar. And for the next part, I will pass for my another classmate, Michelle, for um, the... Yes, thank you. Okay, thanks to Rory and I'm Michelle. This part, I will tell some uh, different distributor channels of our sub-brand. Sub and first, we'll talk about the online platform. 
because we our target customers is most of young people. And as we all know, the young people now, nowadays uh, more and more rely on uh, online shopping. And this and this research also uh, also said uh, that over sixty percent of young uh, young people prefer shopping online than in store. And uh, but we can't uh, we can't ignore the uh, offline offline trade. Uh, uh, and uh, to be honest, the the uh, this research also said in twenty in twenty twenty over six four uh, six four percent of wine sell the uh, offline supermarket like Dan Murphy and the BWS. That means the offline uh, offline supermarket also uh, also. Uh, 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 dominate the the wine uh, the wine market, and next we will uh, we will talk about uh, some reasons of why we add uh, 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 why uh, as sub brand in Yellowtail. So first, uh, so the first is about uh, mass market uh, extension. Uh, actually, we all know the Yellowtail as a, a well known uh, wine brand. So. If we add one yellow bay in the in the in this uh, package, we can we can we can find uh, more uh, more famous about uh, yellow tail this brand. And another thing is about the cost advantages because yellow tail is a really big group and they have uh, uh, they have complex uh, facilities of how to, uh, to make wine and. Whole uh, whole company supply chain, and Wellbe can share these facilities and can help the Wellbe to reach a high quality of cost um, uh, eff uh, efficiency, and they can put more bu uh, budget and cost in uh, advertising and marketing. And the last uh, reason is about the opportunity of can can uh, The research the research said. Uh, the, uh, the the wine market is uh, looks like less uh, less traditional wine, but more kind wine trend. Uh, so the kind wine market is targeting to attain five uh, five hundred uh, five hundred and seventy millions more uh, by twenty twenty two within third maybe just thirty millions uh, an all growth rate from twenty eighteen. And next, I will. Talk about our timeline about production and introduction. So, at the first, uh, at the first season and the second season, we will completion uh, complete to project development, including finalizing and uh, for, uh, formulation and design, such as what kind of group and uh, we use and what can uh, what what type of can we use. And the next season, we will intend uh, we will intend. Of small scale production and and market testing, uh, market testing, and uh, then we will we will citing the communication strategy, uh, uh, such as uh, external uh, exper uh, external place uh, placement in offline and online, and marketing uh, market uh, and marketing some ad advertising in social media and wine magazines. And the uh, next season in Q4, we will soft launch in select markets to value uh, the res uh, response of cu uh, our customers. And for the next year, the, uh, the first season, we will evaluate the uh, uh, we will evaluate last year's data and then uh, make some make some strategies, uh, uh, make some different strategies uh, during this data. Explain some our uh, our production. And put a uh, focus on uh, focus on our uh, better performing market. Uh, now I will talk about our canned wine, uh, uh, canned wine uh, advantages than the traditional wine. For the traditional wine, uh, they are complex and uh, uh, their production uh, uh, production is complex and slow. Uh, as this research said, uh, it may be cost. Uh, three years to make a uh, new uh, traditional wine, such as you need to harvest, you need to plant, you need to uh, for, for, for fermentation, fermentation again, uh, aging and bottling. And next, 
for our can wine, we can uh, uh, we can just to buy some wine and then simply wine making progress is employed, um, and maybe just use three months we can uh, we can finish our production. Okay, that is my part. And next, we are welcome to Jobin. Hi everyone, I'm Jobin, and next we are talk going to talk about the communication strategy. As you see, this is the product life cycle and uh, we are in the introduction stage now and in this stage, uh, we are not going to... Uh, we, we are going to uh, put our focus in investment in advertising. We are going to talk about the 4P communication strategy. Uh, first of all, we have a lower price than our uh, competitors in the market so we can have advantage. We are going to set our price in 4 to 6 AUD and as the people we are going to target the young uh, the young people with our U4 uh, uh, and uh, trendy packaging with our can. For the promotion we are going to set a field of uh, temporary price reduction, redu reduction to enter the market uh, that we can promote ourselves without harming our uh, brand image. As for the place, we are going to have two aspects, digital marketing and event marketing. Uh, the, the digital marketing, we have website and social media. Uh, we are going to uh, create a website and uh, tell people about our story and uh, uh, introduce to people with our products. For the social media, we are going to uh, co cooperate with some famous influencer in Instagram or, fa or Facebook uh, to like maybe sell our products in the social media. The event marketing, we are going to have tasting events. Uh, we are going to set, uh, we are going to invite uh, some influencers, some wine enthusiasts, and people who love wine, and our maybe our uh, wine wannabe uh, customers to uh, have our tasting events. For the public relation, Relation, we are going to uh, uh, co cooperate with WBM, some, such a WBM, some, some, this kind of uh, wine media, a famous, some famous uh, media uh, who work in this industry in Australia. Now we're going to talk about incentive for channel partner. Uh, for the retail store, we have so incentive. Uh, we're going to offer rebates uh, for the retail store, so the store can sell our product and they can get money at the same time. That way, we can promote ourselves in retail store. We're going to set a few of free samples for people to try. If they like why would it be, they will purchase it, and uh, uh, this money will not be wasted. And we are going to set joint membership promotion. For the online platform, we also have free samples gift for online platform. Uh, so we are going to uh, connect with influencers or online shoppers to encourage reviews and enhance why Wallabies online pre presents and we are going to have special pack exclusive only in online platform so it will make our product different from uh, the white wallabies product in the retail store maybe people will like and uh, it will gain our sales value in online platform lastly for the evaluation to expect retail store online metrics for the retail stores uh, we are going to focus on the self value. This is an important part of the retail store, no matter which industry you are in. Uh, for the online metrics, 
we are going to focus like click rate, search value, and website analysis. This data will be also important for us, and this will uh, will be uh, uh, important data we 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 really focus in. Thank you, everyone. That's all.